Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death and welcome back to my Let's Play Space Engineer series. As you can see, all the pistons that we built last time are gone. I logged into the game the next day and all the pistons decided to fly off in random different directions. After trying to get it to work for many hours, I've come to the conclusion that pistons pretty much suck at the current implementation. So we're going to hold off on working on this anymore until pistons get fixed. Completely fixed. Not just like halfway fixed like apparently they did this patch. What we are going to do today is kind of diverge a bit from what constitutes a traditional let's play and go into some light modding. Just some little bit. No text file editing or any of that but creating some things to include into our world to make it a little bit better but again only the stuff that we actually do inside of the game so let's pop over to creative mode to start out with we're going to create some ships like I mentioned back in episode 8 I want to create some military and cargo ships and then as the series progresses kind of upgrade them so that the ships are in different eras so that it feels like there's more stuff going on than just our little corner of the galaxy. And the first era was early war or pre-war I mean. Which is a lot of military ships are just not very good. They're kind of designed by committee. Worse yet, designed by a committee of penny pitching, penny pinching politicians. And thinking along these lines, the first thing that came to mind was a ship that I saw in a book that I've read a couple months ago or so. It was one of the probably most absurd ships that I've ever seen for space. First off, it had a keel. That is, it had a V-shaped bottom, like it was designed to cut through water or something, with a kind of blunted front. So that's where we'll start. Uh, let's just go new station. I'm not quite sure how big I want this, but say maybe one more. Seven wide. Maybe. No, that's probably pretty good. And then, how far down do we want it? We'll see. We're going to have these. If I can get them right. So one of those there. Then we'll have another one. And then... It'll taper off a bit with one of these. No, one of these. There we go. And I actually want the bottom to be a little bit wider. Whoops. Something like... Well... No, that kind of looks better than what I was planning. And then this will come out some ways. And we'll have just a rounded front. And I'll probably fiddle with that a little bit off camera. But I'm going to build this out. I don't know how long it's going to be. But we'll just build kind of the whole area. 
for the top, it's just like a straight up semicircle dome. So I'll do that off camera too, but I have to look up how to do the dome. And I will again be right back. Okay, that much is done. Don't know if I mentioned this, but this is going to be kind of our tanky type ship. Just going to des be designed to just take a beating. And from the design I'm basing it on, there were big weapons up top here. I don't want to put missiles on things this era. So we're going to just use Gatlin turrets. Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll just put them straight up top like this. One there. And I guess we could split them so that it has two in the rear. Oh, I guess you can't do that. Well, crap. All right, we'll just put, we'll just line them up then. With one more like that. We are just leaving this gray because this is kind of a very basic, you know, um, throwback to people who think of wet navies type of ship. One thing they had was along the side, say right about here, mostly towards the front, they had weapons kind of at an angle. And I'm going to try to get weapons at an angle. That's going to be one of our challenges for this design. I'm going to do that with some probably interior turrets connected to a rotor. Which is, in turn, going to be connected to a conveyor. So let's say that. Now that we can adjust the, whatchamacallit, the human did it, that thingamaduper. We'll put, say, a heavy armor block there. We could make that a, a light armor block, but I'm not going to. We'll put that there. We'll put our... Actually, we need to adjust this. So, something I can click on. I guess I could click on those up there. Might should change this so that this is facing the same way. I probably will do that. But raiders. Both the raiders. No, we'll actually make it, well, zero displacement. And hopefully that'll allow us to actually place things. No. That does not look like zero displacement to you. Now then, can I put any of these back? Well, that's not going to work well. Maybe once I turn it. Which, let's do this one and then we'll turn them. Alright. Okay. Lower limit then. Okay, now it knows what angle is that. Okay, so that's not going to work. We'll try 30 then. I would like to put that out a little bit further. Not sure if I can. Might not even be able to place another block there. Oh, I can? Okay. So I have that like that. Then I can probably seal this up at least a little bit. 
Nope. Just one. Actually, what I'm going to do, something that I've been thinking about for these types of ships, is make the reactors volatile by just kind of putting a thing next to them so that they could theoretically explode from battle damage. That'll allow them to kind of possibly explode. Though I guess that may be difficult for it to turn on or something. So how would we do that? Could do it the other way. Or just kind of block it off like this. So that you can reach that without going boom. And we'll probably go ahead and just cover this whole area with these things. That looks better. That does look better. How about some lights? Yeah, just along the roof. Something like that. We'll give it a... I don't know if it's going to need another reactor. It'll probably get one. Uh, it's actually not that big, so maybe it won't get one. If it needs one, it'll probably be... We'll put three, like, right there. For the engines... This is something else that was kind of absurd. But it had three engines on pylons, like, right above it. Like it was some kind of spoiler type thing. So we're going to do that. Engines are done. Went ahead and put the retro thrusters in there, too. Since that seemed like to be seemed to be the best place for them. For the lateral thrusters, I think we'll just put them along here. And for the vertical thrusters, we have room right down the middle. Better. Now then, for the top thrusters. We'll just kind of... Hmm. That'll be the vertical thrusters. And I think that's all the thrusters. That one's going to be an issue. Because so I wanted to put the bridge right here. Hmm. Just a conveyor block? No, not a conveyor block. Let's go with... We'll say put like three cargo containers right here. One for each weapon. Some of them will have ammo and some of them will be like the loot. And then to cover up these, we're going to use some windows. So this will be the captain's chair. Uh, we can't do that until we remove this. That'll be the captain's chair. Then he can have, say, a couple of guys. Like navigation and targeting and weapons and all that stuff. And then, say... Some reserve people. In case something goes wrong and they need to replace those. They get wounded or something. And we will... Give it some more lighting. Where's the lights? See, what do we want to name this? I'm going to call it... Oh, that's the wrong button. Hmm... And 
for the very last thing. We'll just put, say, a flat block of blocks, or a flat wall of blocks along this, because it doesn't need to be anything fancy. We might, actually what we'll do, just to make it look a little bit more scary. Where are you? Weapons, weapons. We'll put a couple of rocket launchers, like right there. That looks more fearsome. We won't cook those up to conveyors or anything since they, I can't use them. And you probably won't even have any rockets in them. I might stick some in there later. We'll have to see how that goes. If we can eventually make the AI use rockets, that'll be a lot more fierce. Alright, let's take this for a spin and see how it works. We will probably put a door back here somewhere if I can remember where the access thing is. Not there. Then we could put a door here. Kind of just trick people. Make them have to fight through the ship and then go down. But nah, I won't do that because that would only work once. Put the door here. And hop in the captain's chair. Doesn't have any gravity. Alright, I want to change the lights. The last, I think, five lights. Alright, I think that kind of gives it a, you know, warship type thing going on there. Now then, let me save this. Come down. Yeah, no problems. So that's how I have to do it. A little bit light on the weaponry. Okay, it's a lot light on the weaponry. Hmm. We might add something. Well, it is supposed to be a lightly armed ship. But that's a ship. For this episode. Coming to a cargo ship near me. So like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.